Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Valentino Rossi the game MotoGP 16 here on this channel. Right guys in today's episode we're going to jump straight into some academy racing with Valentino Rossi around Misano. Now this is actually a wet track around here. Now we've done a few races uh, in this academy and we've uh, done really well but in the wet it's going to be a that little bit more challenging. I'm going to avoid doing any qualifying so I'll start at the back just to up the challenge and then after that guys we will jump into our next championship race. So let's get straight into this and have some fun guys so here we go right guys so here we go with the race around Masano on the R1M uh, in the wet let's see if we can win it guys uh, this is a good way to start the episode so we get some practice in chasing Valentino Rossi down so let's see if we can win so here we go and that's not a bad bit of wheel spin there oh god hold on almost come off but that was a brilliant start there managed to hold it and we've managed to take a few places but can we get into that first corner no that wasn't great but we're up to P5 in those first couple of corners so that's not bad oh god just lost it in that corner trying to try and find that dry line there is a slight dry line round here because it's only a wet track it's not actually raining so hopefully it will dry out over a couple of laps and that's not bad oh god a little bit of a moment at the back there as i try to tap on the power now this uh, r1m isn't super quick it hasn't got loads of power compared to a gp bike but it's still fun to have a go on and i do like racing around this track with valentino and valentino's gone really wide there so just made a little bit of contact and got a nice tight corner trying to find the dry line they're all going into the puddles and that's where i'm going to improve my grip and my speed can i get to that corner a bit quicker oh god slow it down trying to hold on to that dry line as valentino's taking the lead of this gp not this gp race this academy race should i say around masano that's see if we can just tuck in and try and get past in this section i do like this track let's try and get up the inside nice hot line there staying off the curb and again nice and tight trying to hold the speed and try and get through yes we slip through so we go into the lead at the end of this first lap but can we hold on to it trying to hold it nice and tight trying to stay on that dry line and accelerate now we can just try and hold at this position and hopefully and just try and just get this win if we can and then we'll move on to our championship race guys and i do believe uh, we are in the netherlands in our championship uh, series so um that's going to be an awesome race and probably in the wet as well so let's see if we can slow it down into this section and try and hold a first place trying to stay on that dry line as it's starting to get a little bit picker god did we went into the wet there we don't want to do that almost onto the curb and oh god just got taken in the inside there but just hold the line we should be able to hold it into this corner if we slow it down and try and nip in try and keep it nice and tight onto the dry section again and into that corner and that was brilliant oh god oh god bit of contact there but i'm managing to hold a strong and valentino's going to try and come up the inside but no i managed to hold it get onto the dry line again and get up the inside and we're back in the lead but valentino's being really aggressive he keeps running into the back of me and i think he just pushed me out wide you absolute get valentino he pushed me right into that corner so i was trying to slow down i've dropped a couple of places but we still got time to fight back we still got another lap and the dry line is getting bigger so there's going to be a lot more uh, speed going into these next couple of corners let's just try and stay in that section out of the wet and try and get a good line through here so we're sitting in p3 we've got a couple of bikes going up the inside but can we hold that tight into the curb that was a nice drive through there trying to get up to maximum speed almost oh god almost 160 miles now slow it down try and get up the inside no we couldn't get past there but just hold that line again get nice and tight into the curb that was really really tight and that wasn't very quick either so let's go slow and valentino's taking the place back but that's if we can get up the inside of him again get right onto the curb and push him out wide and we're back into the lead right we're going into the final lap can we win it here valentino really trying to get past here but i'm trying to hold strong right we've got one more lap around this misano circuit and uh, let's see if we can win this and then we're jumping to our championship race with a bit of a good form going into that it's nice to have a bit of a practice before we get into the, uh, the nitty-gritty of the championship trying to uh, race on that new suzuki after the last episode guys that was really really gripping i'm looking forward to the day's race to see if we can get another podium finish on the on the suzuki oh god got pushed out really wide there and i lost my position and i've dropped down into second but we still got plenty of time to get past we've just got to race really clever here not make any stupid mistakes don't go into the corners too fast 
and just try and take our chances. Right, that cut point's going really wide. Let's try and take a tighter line. No, we couldn't slow it down, and we've gone wide onto the wet as well. And I've got Valentina trying to get up the inside, but I'm still holding firm. Right, we've got to get past here and see if we can take the position back and get to first place. No, we went out a lot wider, and that's going to give Valentina the option to get past. No, Valentino's dropped down. Uh, but I've gone dropped down to the P3, but we know we're quick through this section. We've just got to stand that dry line and just nip in at the right time. Turn it in. Oh, God, that wasn't bad, but we still... Oh, God, we lost it in that corner. We weren't as quick, and we've dropped down to third place. Valentina's trying to get past, slowing it down. Managing to get a nice tight line right onto the one of the last corners of the race. We've got to make it here, guys. Hold it, hold it, turn it in onto the curb. Oh my god, almost lost it there. And oh god, we've lost the position, but we managed to take a tight line to the next section. Right, it's going to go down to the last corner. A really gripping race here to start the episode. Let's try and take the tight line. Valentino's trying to get up the inside. Right, it's just a race to the finish line. And I think we're just going to be out to do it. And that was a really good race, guys. A lot harder in the wet. But that uh, Yamaha R1M is good fun. And uh, there you go, guys. So we start the episode with a victory. Uh, we didn't get the fastest lap in that race, but we did really well to start from the back and work our way through after that awesome start. Right, let's get straight into the championship in today's episode. Right, guys, uh, we are in Assen in the Netherlands. And uh, we've got to keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't rain. Last time we did the race around here, I think it was wet. And it was an absolute nightmare. So uh, let's just keep uh, uh, our fingers crossed for that and get straight into it, guys. This is going to be fun. Right, so here we are on our third lap of qualifying on the first session. Still haven't managed to put time in. But it's the first corner and the last corner I'm really, really struggling on. Uh, keep crashing out. But uh, we know that we are pretty good around the circuit. And at the moment, it's uh, cloudy, but it's not raining. So fingers crossed it stays like that. So we've got the fastest uh, time at that first split point. Let's see if we can go through here nice and quick and hold the speed. We have had some good form around this circuit. It's, uh, it's not uh, uh, one of the easiest circuits to win around because of that chicane right at the end of the circuit. But if you nail it, you've always got a chance. And we are running a lot quicker than the... AI in this first session at that set. Oh god, gone really hot into that corner. That's going to slow us down. But we were just over a second quicker at that second split point. But I think we probably cost ourselves a bit of time there. Let's see if we can get back on it into this next section, trying to hold the line. Oh god, really fighting with the bike there. But um, getting uh, the hang of this Suzuki. Yeah, we are still slightly quick at the third split point, but we did lose a time uh, over a second in that uh, right hand corner. Oh god, onto the curb there. That was really, really close. Really had to slow it down. We can't, can't make those sort of mistakes in the race. Slow it down, slow it down. This is really, really tough. Don't let that rear end go. Well, that was pretty smooth. And accelerates. I think this should be quick enough for the first session. Yes, we are much quicker. I think that should hold it. It's almost 0 0.460 faster than any other uh, rider in this session. And I think that will stay like that. Fingers crossed. We've nailed a good lap. And yes, it's staying there, staying there. Don't you overtake us, Hector Barber. Um, yes, yes, we take it, guys. So that's the first session out of the way, but it's going to be a lot quicker in the second session. And who's going to come forward and be the quickest in the first session, I wonder? It's Mark Marquez and uh, Rossi that are really, really hot in the qualifying session. So let's get straight into it and hopefully get another fast time. Right, guys, so here we are on the second session, and yes, it's a hell of a lot quicker. Valentino's put in a 134.322. Now, that is really, really quick. Now, um, I haven't managed to get anywhere near it. I've crashed off a couple of times just through trying to go a little bit too quick into some of the corners. But hopefully, we can nail it into that first corner. It's really, really hard to get a really tight line into that first corner. I've lost the rear end a couple of times and I've gone over the kerb, which is okay as long as you don't overdo it, then you won't get a penalty. Really, really struggle. It's, it's like that right-hander goes on forever. Then you've got to dip into this left-hander, get really tight and then accelerate out really quick and try and hold that front wheel down. And that's not too bad. Are we fast at the first split point? Only just. Um, this is a lot going to be a lot harder to get a fast time on. Let's try and get nice and tight into there. Hold the speed. 
try and gets a lot quicker. Stay off the kerb. Oh my god, almost went onto the kerb, but managed to hold it and see if we are fast at the second split point. Yes, we're still quicker, but uh, last time we really lost it in this section coming up. So we've got to try and nail it here. Try and hold it. Oh, that was a bit bare. Kept it into the middle of the circuit this time. Didn't go onto the kerb. Nice and tight. Just gently accelerate round here. Really hard to hold uh, the bike. Had to adjust it quite a few times because I was getting quite a bit of a wobble. And accelerate out that corner. And no, we've lost time. We did that again onto the kerb. Get onto the track. Oh, God, that's going to slow us down a bit. Flip it over. Can't try and keep it nice and tidy. Right, we've got to nail this chicane here. Really, really difficult. Slow it down. We've got to get nice and tight onto the kerb. That's not bad. Flip it over. Accelerate. Oh, God, almost lost the back there. This is going to be pretty quick. But is it going to get us the fastest time? And we... Oh, my God! We absolutely nailed it. We just got a 133.8. That deserves a victory, really. I don't think anyone's going to get anywhere near that. Oh, my God. That's one of the fastest times I've put around this circuit in a long time. That should stand. Well, I hope it stands. Because we're half a second quicker. Yes, Mark Marquez is into second place. Oh, God, he got a faster lap there with a minute to go. No, no. Oh, what a, what a qualifying session that was, guys. We get pole position for the first time in this championship, I do believe. So we start in first in Assen. Please don't rain. So let's get straight to the race and hopefully get back on that podium, guys. So here we go. Hello and welcome to the eighth event of the MotoGP season. Today we're here in Assen, where the Dutch Grand Prix will be getting underway any moment now. As you can tell from the live pictures we're bringing you, it's going to be fine weather for the race. Just a few more seconds for the race to start. Will those riders on the front row be able to make the most of their advantage? Or will those pre-race nerves get the better of them? Right, guys, so here we go in the Netherlands around Assen. I'm not used to being uh, pole position, so this should be really, really challenging. Right, and off we go in Assen. Let's see if we can get on the podium again. That's not a bad start. Mark Marquez tried to get a good acceleration there, but we've got to get into that first corner in the lead. Oh, God, the back end just went there slightly. That slowed us down. Rossi tried to get up the inside. Oh, God, I've lost three places. Contact with Dobby there, and I've just nicked the back of Marquez. But, oh, God, I've lost another place. Really, really tough at the start of this race. But after that awesome qualifying session, getting that time, I should be really on it and try and get those sort of times in this race. And I should win it. And we've managed just to get back into P3. We've got to settle down early on. This is going to be a really tough race. A lot of the other riders were pretty quick. I think there was only about a second and a half between the whole field. And I've managed to get through back into first place. Bit of contact as I went through onto the kerb. Oh, my God. Really, really struggling to hold it there. And we are back in the lead. But we've got to try and hold on to it. We've got Valentino Rossi behind us. And we we are not very good through this section. And this is where I think I'm going to lose it. Right into the middle of the track. Had to just crack that back brake on. Trying to slow it again. And again, we're struggling to slow the bike down. But uh, the Suzuki's not bad in the corners if you can just get in the right positions onto the curb there accelerate we're going to be pretty quick through this section and hold it and we are still leading in Assen but uh, and we've got the perfect conditions guys we were really worrying if it was going to rain and it didn't it was just cloudy so we have just got to try and just make this uh, race count and try and get another podium and that's not too bad it's a bit slow not the greatest but we are still leading the grand prix and we go into the second lap in the lead still we've got to now this uh, this corner here we really made a mistake on it at the start of the race and again we've lost it we really lost the break in there and that's cost us a bit of time and they've all caught up we did have a bit of a lead now they're all going to catch up again we've got mark marquez behind us and uh, Rossi as well, so we've got to try not to lose it here. Try and keep it nice and tight into this corner. I've got three bikes right behind me there. Just really trying to hold on to this uh, win here. If we can just really 
pile it into this next couple of sections. We need a lap time like that qualifying session if we want to pull away. But Rossi's really, really tried to get me there. He would just got really close, but we managed to pull away through that section. That seems to be a good section for us. We seem to gain a lot of time and we've got to take advantage of that. And we've just pulled away a 0.6 gap. We've got to hold on to this, guys, and not make any errors going towards the final lap of the race. Come on, we can do this. And again, we've lost the, the speed through there. Our brakes are too late and that's cost us. But we've managed to get past Mark Marquez, hold him off. But Rossi's taking the lead of this Grand Prix. And if Marquez is again trying to get up the inside. I'm really trying to hold on strong. But we've got dropped down into second place. But can we get close to Rossi again? Nice speed through there. Let up, um, didn't break through there. And again, and we've gone through. Awesome on the Suzuki. Jeffney does hold the speed through those sort of corners really well onto the curb. Now we've just got to nail this. Slow it down, slow it down. Don't lose it, guys. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yes, just managed to accelerate. Oh, my God. I was worried about that. I went in there pretty quick, guys, and I managed to hold it. But Valentino's right behind me. Oh, my God. I've got four bikes, and they're all trying to get past me. Five bikes. Oh, God. I've lost the back end slightly. Really great. And two have got past me. Three have got past me. Oh, the Maniacs caught up as well. And is that my teammate, Maverick? Oh, my God. So we're back into P3. I've got two. Oh, God. My teammate's gone up the inside of me there, but I'm trying to hold him off. Oh, this is all going wrong on the last lap, but I'm not going to panic. We know with the certain sections where we are pretty quick. Oh, Lorenzo made a slight mistake there, and his bike sort of kicked out. That's going to cost him a bit of speed. We should get past him, but we've got to try and ch chase down Mar Marquez, and we've gone straight through there. Oh, my God, we went there through there really quick, but that's going to cost us as we break out that zone, and yes, he takes the lead. We took the risk, and Lorenzo's gone slightly wider there, and we managed to take advantage of up the inside, but it's Mark Marquez. Marquez leading this Grand Prix in Assen. He is gone for it, guys, and we've got to fight back. And we go up the inside. Oh, got a bit of contact. We put him right into the inside there, but he's going to have the inside line going into that uh, right hand corner. And yes, he took advantage. And Lorenzo went up the inside, but I'm going to try and get back. I managed to get past Lorenzo, but can I get past Marquez? Yes, I do. I pushed him out wide, and I'm back in the lead. Now we're going into the final sections of the race. Am I going to ruin it, or am I going to take another victory on the Suzuki? Oh my God, onto the curb there. Going way too far fast in that section I've got to slow it down right it's all down to the chicane don't muck it up here Guna slow it down slow it down oh god the back end went there oh god the wheel went up almost totally came off the bike managed to control it oh my god that was close and there you go guys we take another victory on the Suzuki but that was a challenging last lap and we almost lost it right on that last chicane what a race, guys. I almost lost it on that last chicane. The back end of the bike went. I accelerated. It wheelied up. I almost came off the back. Managed to control it, though, guys. Got over the finish line. And we take another win on this Suzuki. Oh, my God. That's two out of two on the Suzuki. I cannot believe it. But please, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. I hope you're enjoying this championship on the GP bikes because I am. And we've managed to pull away a bit of a gap now from Rossi. Let's keep it going. Please keep supporting this channel. Please keep liking the videos and I will see you very soon. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you later. Bye.